the class of systems of differential equations is way too large. So we will first study a subset of systems on which we pose some restrictions. We will require linearity of our system and of, on top of that we require our system to be homogeneous. These restrictions allow us to make some analytical progress, which is good. And furthermore, the properties and solutions of linear and homogeneous equations will help us to tackle more general problems. So let us see what linear and homogeneous means in this video. So in general, our systems of differential equations looks like this. x1 prime equals some function of x1, x2 up to xn and t. And same for x2 prime with a different function. And finally, xn prime is also some function of x1, x2 up to xn and t. Now, to simplify the notation a bit, we will take n equals 2 for now, for convenience. I mean, the ideas will generalize easily, but for notation, let's take n equals 2. Then we require for linearity that the right hand sides, f1 and f2, can in general be general functions of x1, x2 and t, but now we impose that they are linear in x1 and in x2. So f1 is rubbish of t times x1 plus other rubbish of t times x2 plus more rubbish of t. So you may have rubbish of t, but you are linear in x1 and x2. Same for f2, you have rubbish of t times x1 plus some rubbish of t times x2 plus some other rubbish of t. Then, in that case, you have a linear system of differential equations. You are homogeneous if furthermore g1 and g2 are both equal to zero. Now, if you are linear, then you can rewrite your system of differential equations. You can put your x1 and x2 in a vector, write x1, x2 prime, and you can write this part as a matrix times vector, as we did over here. And the remaining part, g1 and g2, you can put them in a vector like this. So if you are linear, then you can rewrite your differential equation as x prime equals a matrix depending only of t times x plus some inhomogeneous term. Let us try to do this with a couple of examples. First of all, we have this example one which looks linear. So what do we have? x1 prime equals x1 times x2 plus t squared minus 2x2 and x2 prime equals this. So the second equation is easy. We put a 1 and a minus 1 in the matrix and then we have x2 prime equals x1 minus x2 plus 0. What to do with the first term? Well, we can put t squared over here in the vector. And then what can we do? We have a minus 2x2 and we have an x1, x2. So we could put x2 in the matrix. Now we get an x1 times x2. But that's not what we want. We want a matrix depending only of t at most. So this is not allowed. Uh, so what we have here, in fact, is not a linear system of differential equations due to this term x1 times x2. Let's take a look at another example. It looks a bit messy due to the t cubed and so on. Second equation is the same, by the way. So we put a 1 and a minus 1 over here for x2 prime equals x1 minus x2. And then for the first equation, we get t cubed times x1 uh, minus 2 times x2. And we can put the t squared over here. And here we see that we are of the form x prime equals a times x plus a g of t. Because now the a only depends on time and that is allowed. So here we have a linear system of differential equations, but it's not homogeneous due to this, this term over here. Now, finally, the third example, we just kick out this t squared over here. What do we have now? We have the same problem, of course, x1 prime equals t cubed times x1 minus 2 times x2, and x2 prime equals x1 minus x2. So now we have rewritten this in the form x prime equals uh, a times x. Uh, now we have again a linear system of differential equations, and our vector g equals zero vector, so this is also a homogeneous system of linear differential equations.